Hello everyone, this is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus Dry Docks, and this is... Logan, the RC sub kid. Logan, the RC sub kid. Um, if you remember, a while back, Logan finished up a really cool boat, the, uh, the Bat Sub. And uh, it turned out so awesome that I uh, decided to try another project. And if you've been following the channel, um, you'll know what I'm talking about. But if you haven't, or you've forgotten, um, this is what we've got going on. This is... Uh, the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars and uh, we're converting this into a, uh, a full remote controlled uh, model and uh, I'll show you the inside here in a little bit but why, why did we pick the Falcon? I mean you and I are massive Star Wars nerds so it was kind of an easy choice between us but that and it's such a unique shape I mean it's pretty rare you see a disc driving around the ocean compared to all the U-boats and submarines going around, so. Very true. So the, the shape means that there's gonna be a lot of uh, challenges from a control perspective, but we'll go into that in a minute. Um, let's pause it here. We'll jump uh, forward a few minutes. We'll crack open the model and uh, show you what we've got brewing uh, on the inside, but maybe just, just show you. You can see maybe just barely these little, well, let me try and find them. Uh, there, stainless steel bolts, and those uh, just hold the top right down um, nicely, and you're really not going to be able to see them once we get everything all painted up. So uh, it should look really, really cool, um, especially after we get some LED lights in there. So let's take a look inside. All right, fast forward a couple minutes. We uh, undone, un undid the screws, and. Uh, this is the interior of the boat. Um, it's kind of version 2.0. We had some really crazy ideas about vectored nozzles and all sorts of cool things uh, in the back there, but we did some wet tests in the test tank and... They proved a little not effective. Non-effective, yeah. So we went to a more simple design. Maybe spin it around and we'll show everybody what we've got brewing. So that's all just open and uh, we've got these baffles in the back and they're each angled inward toward the center line of the boat. And the idea is that as the water blows past them, it will be vectored towards the center of the boat and spin it. So this is gonna use differential thrust to uh, steer the boat, um, hopefully. We'll, we'll see what ends up happening. Um, actually, probably would've been okay just with straight, because if we just did one motor, it would just push off center, but. That's true. Anyhow, angling the baffles may provide better turning um, force, but uh, pair of brushless motors running in the wet um, big brass props. So they basically force the water into these compartments uh, and then out past the baffles. And uh, just a few minutes ago, we ordered a little watertight case. I think it was for like electrical components or something like that. Yeah, some sort of like outdoor electrical. Outdoor electrical something. box. Yeah. Um, but I always prefer ready-made and pre-engineered, professionally engineered solutions to those that I can brew myself, especially considering it was like $4 or something to buy. So yeah, better solution. But um, if we just take a look at the top here, we'll have like an electronics box in here that'll hold the battery, the receiver, the uh, battery eliminator circuit, and uh, the LED lighting driver, and that's pretty well it, I think. But yeah, super simple. Um, and then uh, obviously we've got yaw control, but we need pitch control. So um, what we're probably gonna put are some, a pair of clear uh, dive planes that go in the back and they'll be in the, the wash. And then as the water flows past, they will uh, basically affect the uh, pitch of the boat, but they're also going to be on separate channels. So not only will we uh, be able to pitch the boat uh, around its x-axis, um, but also about the y-axis so we can do barrel rolls. So that'll be cool. I, I have not built a submarine yet that was capable of doing barrel rolls. So it would be cool to see a U-boat do that perhaps, but um, it might be a little off-putting for the crew. Yeah. Yeah. So anyhow, that's where we're at. And uh, just wanted to give you an update because lots of you have been asking about where we're at. Logan's going off to college here in a few months. 
not even like a month and a half. In a month and a half. So we're kind of under the gun to get this thing finished. So watch for some updates. We'll see how much we can get done before he ships out. So there you go. That's the update on the uh, Sub Aquatic Millennium Falcon. Uh, hope you enjoyed. As always, this is Bob Martin, the RC Sub Guy, and... <laughs> Logan, the RC Sub Kid. <laughs> Logan, the RC Sub Kid. Thanks for joining us, and I'll uh, catch you next time.